If you're having trouble with battery life or even performance on the Galaxy S7, it might be a third party application that's causing the trouble. Now it could also be the core OS. Sometimes this happens after a software update. Sometimes it just happens randomly when data gets corrupt. Either way, we're going to do a test today to find out if those issues are related to a third party application that you've installed from the Google Play Store. To do this, we're going to boot the Galaxy S7 into safe mode. What this does is it will disable all third party applications that have been installed from the Play Store. So to do that, we're going to tap, press and hold the power button, and we get these three options. Then we're going to tap and hold on the power off button. Doing that will bring up this reboot to safe mode dialog box. And just gives you a little notice telling you what safe mode is. And then you can tap the restart button. You're going to see the Galaxy S7 power down. And then it's going to boot back up. Now before, we had to do this by powering the device down and then holding specific buttons down during this boot process. Thankfully, Google has added a way to get into safe mode via software. And that's where we're at now. As you can see at the bottom left, we have a safe mode watermark. And then we get a persistent notification to remind us that we're in safe mode. We're going to unlock the device. Now normally I use Nova Launcher Prime, but since since safe mode disables these applications, I have to pick a different one. I'm just going to pick a Google Now Launcher. And you see now we're into safe mode. Again, you can tell that we're in safe mode by this notification, by the watermark at the bottom, but also because our third party apps are grayed out. You can see it's grayed out for docs, but Drive isn't because Drive was pre installed on the device. And if we tap on docs, we get a notice saying that the downloaded application is disabled right now. Now, to get out of safe mode, we have a couple options. We can do the regular reboot. and just tell it to restart and that'll restart like normal or we can come up here and tap on that notification and then tell it to turn off both options will result in the same thing so it doesn't matter which one you pick it's easy to go in and out of safe mode, so you'll never be stuck in either one if you don't want to be.